Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Finance with Avern. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the top 10 savings accounts ranked by APY annual percentage yield for January 2024. Yes, we are officially in 2024. Happy New Year, everyone. I've got my Sencha and Matcha green tea with me in hand, and I'm ready to deliver to you some great information about these accounts. And with the top 10 list in this video, several of these banks and financial institutions aren't that well known. And I understand that some people may be a little hesitant in putting their money in the account at one of these financial institutions. So before I jump into the list, I'm going to give a quick overview on some other well-known banks and financial institutions that also have high yield savings accounts, because there are definitely well-known major banks and financial institutions that have nice yields on their savings accounts. So I'm going to talk about those some before the top 10 list. And during the top 10 list, I'm going to give an overview on each one of the accounts, you know, the APY that's available, if there's a minimum initial deposit required, also how the interest compounds, a calculation example to give you an idea of how much interest you would earn in these accounts, as well as a brief background on the bank and financial institution themselves. And I have timestamps down below in the description. So if you want to jump to a certain part of the video, definitely feel free to do that. That because I talk about this first part, you know, in every video, but it may be good information for some people. It may be more dismissible for other people. You can skip to wherever you want in this video back and forth, but let's get to some of the features all of these accounts have in common. And first off here, all of these accounts are FDIC insured, Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, which is very important. If an account did not have this, I would not talk about it on my channel because this insurance will protect typically your amount in these accounts up to $250,000. And I say typically because some accounts offer more insurance than that $250,000. And there's one particular on this list right here. And I'll tell you about that more when we get to that one. But typically, FDIC insurance covers your deposits up to $250,000. So if anything happened to the bank or financial institution, if they went under a bankrupt or anything like that, that FDIC insurance would kick in and you would receive your money back through that FDIC insurance. And the FDIC was an independent agency created by Congress back in the Great Depression to restore balance and trust and confidence back into the banking system, basically for customers. So since the FDIC insurance was enacted, any customer at a bank that has FDIC insurance has not lost funds, even if that bank went under. And now most banks and financial institutions don't go under, you know, a lot of well known banks have been around for years and years and decades and things like that. But there are some that do go under for sure. There have been a few that have gone under with FDIC insurance. However, if somebody had money in that bank with FDIC insurance, the FDIC insurance kicked in and covered their deposits. So they didn't lose any money or anything. So that's very important that a bank and financial institution has FDIC insurance. And all of these accounts on this video have FDIC insurance. Next up here, all of these accounts have no monthly maintenance fee. So you don't have to worry about any kind of certain $3, $4, $5 fee every month on your account just for having your account. And you'd be surprised. You know, some people might be like, oh yeah, of course they have a monthly maintenance fee. But there are still banks and accounts out there that have monthly maintenance fees. And I talk about some of them on my channel and ways to avoid them because there are some that offer incentives, you know, for signing up for an account and everything like that. But also they do have a monthly maintenance fee on the back. So there are typically sometimes ways to get out of that, having a certain balance or having a certain amount of direct deposits or anything like that into the account but with these accounts on this video right here no monthly maintenance fee at all you don't have to do any kind of certain stipulations or anything like that to avoid the fee there's just no monthly maintenance fee on any of these accounts and next up all the APYs are variable that I'm going to talk about in this video. So typically with savings accounts, the APYs are variable. So what that means is the APY could change at any moment. It's not fixed for a certain amount of months or days or weeks or years or anything like that. The APY is variable and it will move up and down. It just depends on economic conditions, the Fed funds rate, things like that. And so in this video right here, what has happened recently is that some of these accounts have kind of stayed sideways with their APYs. There wasn't a lot of movement and the list compared to the last time I did this video back in November. And I recently done a video about the Fed funds rates effect on savings and CD account rates. So definitely check out that video if you want to know more about that in the history of the Fed funds rate and savings and CD rates. So yes, all the APYs on this video right here are variable and subject to change. And also with all of these accounts, there is no monthly minimum balance required to avoid fees. So there's no certain amount you have to have in the account to avoid any kind of fee, like a monthly maintenance fee. So when I say they all have no monthly maintenance fees, they don't have monthly maintenance fees. And also there's no minimum balance required to avoid fees. Now, a couple of these accounts do have minimum balance requirements to obtain the APY, 
but they're not to avoid fees. And so when we get to those accounts, I'll let you know like, hey, this account, you have to have a certain amount of money in this account to get this APY. If you don't, you'll have this APY. So when we get to those accounts, I'll tell you about that. There's a couple of accounts that do fall into that. And also with some of these accounts, some of them have initial deposit requirements. With some banks and financial institutions, there's no initial deposit requirement to open the account. And with some other ones, there are. So, and then when we get to those accounts that have the initial deposit requirements, I'll tell you about that and how much it is, whether it's $500, $1,000, $10 or whatnot. And also all of these accounts have a mobile app associated with them on the Apple and Google Play app stores. So through the bank or financial institution that provides these savings accounts, there is a mobile app available on the major app stores where you can access your account 24 seven if you have a connection with the mobile app provided by the bank or financial institution that has these high yield savings accounts. So yes, those are the common features that all of these accounts have in common, including the ones I'm gonna talk about first, kind of the honorable mentions and the ones in the top 10 list. And so now before we jump into the top 10 list, I wanna give a little brief overview of some of the more well-known, you know, popular banks and financial institutions that also have high yield savings accounts that have these common features I just talked about. So let's get into that. Now, there are several well-known banks and financial institutions with high yield savings accounts. However, they weren't high enough with the APYs to land on my top 10 list, but I do want to show you and talk about some of them because I understand some people may be a little hesitant about some of the banks and financial institutions in the top 10 list because they aren't as well known as other banks they may be more familiar with. For example, Discover has a nice high yield savings account currently at 4.35% APY, which is definitely nice and higher than other big banks. As you see right here, they have a chart. They show Chase Bank, PNC Bank, and also they show Ally Bank, which they're tied with. And that's 4.35% APY is currently a popular APY because several accounts I'm going to show you right here have that same APY. And so spoiler alert, Ally is one of them. So yeah, Discover Online Savings Account has the APY 4.35%. And like the other accounts I'm going to show you, they don't have a monthly maintenance fee. And this account also doesn't have a minimum opening deposit amount. Also at 4.35% APY, yes, Ally. Ally Bank has a savings account right now and their APY is 4.35%. Another account that doesn't have any monthly maintenance fees and no minimum balance requirements. And all the accounts in this video I'll talk about are FDIC insured. Very important. They have 24-7 support. So you can call, chat, or email them anytime. And a real person is always available to help you day or night. So Ally has that savings account and they show a chart right here comparing them to some of the other major banks, Bank of America, Chase, Wells Fargo. As you see, they have monthly maintenance fees with those accounts and the APYs are paltry, very low, 0.01%, 0.15%. So no, Ally, high yield savings account at 4.35%. Also another account at 4.35% is the Capital One 360 Performance Savings Account. No monthly maintenance fees with this account as well and there is no minimum initial deposit required to open that. And another account at 4.35% APY is the American Express High Yield Savings Account. This account also has no minimum balance and no monthly maintenance fees. And they also have 24 seven customer service. So calculation example for all of these accounts that have that 4.35% APY. If you had $10,000 in one of these accounts with the APY of 4.35%, total interest earned after one month is gonna be around $35.55. Now, if the APY stayed the same for a year at 4.35%, total interest earned on that $10,000 is gonna be around $435. And so yeah, those are four major companies that have a nice high yield savings account at 4.35%. 5% APY. Like I state, not as high as the ones on my top 10 list, but definitely a nice APY. 4.35% will earn you a nice amount of interest depending on how much money you have in the account, of course. The more money you have in the account, the more interest you're going to earn. Now, there's also a couple of other accounts that have higher APYs, but not high enough to get on my top 10 list. You have the Marcus by Goldman Sachs online savings account at 4.50% APY. And same thing with this one, no monthly maintenance fees and no minimum deposit required to open the account. And they have a contact center available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They state right here for their customer service. Calculation example for this account with Marcus by Goldman Sachs, if you had $10,000 in this account at 4.50% APY, total interest earned after one month is going to be around $36.75. And if that APY stayed the same for a year at 4.50%, total interest earned on $10,000 is going to be around $450. And also SoFi has a high yield savings account at 4.60% APY with no monthly maintenance fees. This account has one slight stipulation with their APY 4.60%. To get that APY on the savings account with SoFi, you do have to have direct deposit set up. 
So you don't have to direct deposit your whole check amount or anything like that. At least a percentage of it or some amount of it basically has to be deposited in either their savings account or checking account with SoFi. And once you have that set up basically and everything, you will get that 4.60% APY currently for the savings account with SoFi. So slight stipulation with that one, but it is a nice high APY, 4.60% for sure. Calculation example for the SoFi savings account. If you had $10,000 in this account at that 4.60% APY, after one month, total interest earned would be around $37.55. And if that APY stayed the same for a year at 4.60%, total interest earned on $10,000 would be around $460. And so, yeah, those are some more well-known banks and financial institutions with high yield savings accounts that have a nice yield on them, just not high enough to get in my top 10 list. But I did want to mention them. Now that we've gone over some of those accounts, let's jump into the top 10 savings accounts ranked by APY for January 2024. Coming in at number 10 is the Synchrony High Yield Savings Account at 4.75% APY. There is no minimum initial deposit required to open this account and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. Now, the way the interest compounds is going to vary throughout this list. Some of the accounts compound interest daily. Some of them compound interest monthly. There's not that big of a difference when the interest is compounded daily versus monthly, especially if you don't have like a ton of money in the account. If you have a lot, I mean like, you know, like millions or something dollars in the account, then you will notice more of a difference between the interest being compounded daily and monthly. If you just have like hundreds or thousands of dollars in this account, the difference between the interest compounded compounded daily versus monthly just a few cents here and there so there's not that big of a difference with that it is something i personally do like interest compounded daily of course if i had the choice between interest compounded daily or monthly i'm going to choose daily for sure because that means there's going to be more interest compounded because it's going to compound the interest daily you know every day instead of every month you know every 30 days or 31 days so yeah i do like interest compounded daily better than monthly some of these accounts do vary but there's not that big of a difference unless you have a lot of money you'll notice it you'll notice more if you have a lot of money i mean a lot like i told you if you don't have a ton of money you may still notice it but it's not that great of a difference it's not like a deal breaker if an account has better features but they compound you know interest monthly instead of daily you know that may be more important than you know the interest compounded daily instead of monthly so it's just something to look out for and i'll tell you about how all these accounts compound their interest but yeah so synchrony interest is compounded daily and credited monthly in a calculation example for this one if you had ten thousand dollars in this account at 4.75 percent apy after one month interest would be around 38 dollars and 75 cents and if that apy stayed the same for a year total interest earned after a year would be around four hundred and seventy five dollars Synchrony Financials is a consumer financial services company offering consumer financing products like credit financing and loyalty programs, installment lending to industries and consumer savings products. Synchrony has roots that go back to 1932 when GE Capital Retail Bank was started. In 2014, GE eventually spent off the portion of its GE Capital business dedicated to retail credit cards and indicated that the new company would be called Synchrony Financial. Their headquarters is in Stamford, Connecticut. And there are a few ties on this list, starting with the tie here at number nine. We have the Wealthfront cash account at 5% APY. There is a $1 minimal initial deposit required to open this account and the interest is compounded and credited monthly. And Wealthfront has FDIC insurance available up to $8 million on the funds in the cash account. And how they do this basically is that they spread out the funds to various partner banks that they have partnered up with. And that's how they're able to offer more than that $250,000 standard FDIC insurance. If you want to know more about this Wealthfront cash account, check out the in-depth review overview video I did about it. I go into a lot of detail about information about the account, features, how to use it, and more. I'll link it down in the description. Calculation example for this one, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5% APY, after one full month, total interest earned will be around $40.74. And if the APY stayed at 5% for a year, that $10,000 will earn you around $500 for that year. Wealthfront is an automated investment service firm that was founded in 2008 by Andy Rashcliffe and Dan Carroll. In February 2019, Wealthfront introduced this cash account, which is like a hybrid savings account and checking account. Wealthfront headquarters is in Palo Alto, California. And at number 9 is the Lower Road High Yield Savings Account at 5% APY. There is no minimum initial deposit required to open this account, and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. 
calculation example for this one, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5% APY, after one month, total interest earned would be around $40.74. And for one year, if the APY stayed the same at 5%, total interest earned would be around $500. Lower Road is a digital banking platform and brand of KeyBank that provides banking and lending solutions, including student loan refinancing, savings products, mortgages, personal loans, credit cards, and more. Lower Road also has a focus on healthcare professionals and was founded in 2013 and became a part of KeyBank in 2019. KeyBank headquarters is in Cleveland, Ohio. And at number eight, we have a tie. First up here, we have the CIT Bank Platinum Savings Account at 5.05% APY. There is a $100 minimum initial deposit required to open this account. And at 5.05% APY applies to balances of $5,000 or more. If you have less than $5,000 in this account, the APY is only going to be 0.25%. So that is something to keep in mind. If you want to bank at CIT Bank, though, however, and you have an account balance under 5000 they do have a Savings Connect account, which is a high yield savings account with an APY of 4.65% with a minimum $100 initial deposit requirement. So CIT Bank has two different savings accounts, and one of them is better if you have under $5,000, and one is better if you have over $5,000. So it just depends on your balance, basically. If you have $5,000 or more, the Platinum Savings is definitely going to be better at 5.05%. If you have less than $5,000, then you could do the CIT Bank Savings Connect at 4.65%, which is still a nice high yield. And with the CIT Bank Platinum Savings Account, the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. Calculation example for this one, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.05% APY, after one month, interest earned would be around $41.14. And if the APY stayed the same for a year, total interest earned would be around $505. CIT was founded in 1908 in St. Louis, Missouri. CIT stands for Commercial Investment Trust. After various ventures of acquisitions being sold and bankruptcy, CIT was acquired by First Citizens Bank Shares in January 2022. CIT provides financing, cash management, treasury management, small business administration loans, mortgage loans, and more. CIT headquarters is in New York, New York. And also tied at number eight is the Redneck Bank Mega Money Market Account at 5.05% APY. There is a minimum $500 initial deposit required to open this account, and at 5.05% APY is on balances up to $100,000. Balances over $100,000 would only earn 0.50% APY. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you have $100,000 or less, you're going to get 5.05% with this account. If you have over $100,000 in this account, then the APY is only going to be 0.50%. And for this account, the interest is compounded monthly and credited monthly. Calculation example for this one is going to be similar to the last one. If you had $10,000 in this account at 5.05% APY, after one month, that total interest earned is going to be right around $41.14. And if that APY stayed the same for a year, interest earned is going to be around $505. Redneck Bank is an internet banking division of All American Bank, which was established in Mustang, Oklahoma in 1969 as the first Mustang State Bank. Now headquartered in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Redneck Bank offers a checking account and a money market savings account. Coming in at number seven is the Premise Personal Savings Account at 5.07% APY. There is a $1 minimum initial deposit required to open this account and the interest is compounded monthly and credited monthly. Calculation example for this one, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.07% APY, after one month, total interest earned will be around $41.30. And after one year, if that APY stayed the same at 5.07%, total interest earned will be around $507. Premise Financial is the holding company for Premise Bank, which is a state charter bank headquartered in Glen Allen, Virginia. Premise offers checking and savings accounts, loans, and credit card, and more. The company was formerly known as Southern National Bank Corp of Virginia and changed its name to Premise Financial Corp. Premise Financial Corp was founded in 2004 and is based in McLean, Virginia. And at number six, we have a tie, starting off here with BMO Auto and their online savings account at 5.10% APY. There's no initial minimum deposit required to open this account, and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. Calculation example for this one, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.10% APY, after one month, total interest earned would be around $41.54. And if the APY stayed the same at 5.10% for a year, total interest earned would be around $510. BMO Auto is the online banking option launched in April 2023 that's a part of BMO Financial Group. BMO Auto offers a savings account and CD accounts. Bank of Montreal, commonly known as BMO, 
owns BMO Harris Bank through the holding company BMO Financial Corporation. In the United States, it does business as BMO Financial Group. BMO main formal headquarters is in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Also tied at number six is the Basque Bank interest savings account at 5.10% APY. There's no initial minimum deposit required to open this account. And also I noticed in the fine print of this one, they state that the account must be funded in 15 days of opening. If not, they possibly will close the account. And for this account, the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. Interest calculation for this one is going to be similar to the last one. If you had $10,000 in this account at 5.10% APY, after one month, total interest earned would be around $41.54. And if the APY stayed the same for a year, total interest earned would be $510 for that year. Basque Bank is an online bank that offers one savings account that earns interest and another that earns American Airlines miles. Basque Bank is a division of Texas Capital Bank, which was founded in 1998, and their headquarters is in Dallas, Texas. And at number five, we have the Bread Financial High Yield Savings Account at 5.15% APY. There is a $100 minimum initial deposit required to open this account, and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. Calculation example for this one, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.15% APY, after one month, total interest earned would be around $41.94. If the APY stayed the same at 5.15% for a year, that $10,000 would earn you a total interest of $515. Bread Financial is a financial services company offering simple, personalized payment, lending, and saving solutions. Bread Financials was formerly known as Alliance Data, which was formed by a combination of JCPenney's credit card processing unit and the Limited's credit card bank business. Alliance Data changed its name to Bread Financial Holdings in March 2022. Bread Savings is a product of Community Capital Bank and was founded in 1996 with the headquarters in Columbus, Ohio. And at number four, we have another tie. First up here, we have the Evergreen Bank Group with their high yield savings account at 5.25% APY. There's a minimum $100 initial deposit required to open this account. And that 5.25% APY is on a balance up to $1 million. If the balance is over that, the APY would be 0.00%. Interest on this account is compounded daily and credited monthly. Calculation example for this one, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.25% APY, after one month, total interest earned would be around $42.73. If that APY stayed the same at 5.25% a year, that $10,000 would earn you around $525 for that year. Background on Evergreen Bank Group, after 12 years with a publicly traded bank, Darren Campbell resigned from his executive bank position to start Evergreen Bank Group. He recruited a group of investors in early 2007 and reorganized and recapitalized a small but well-known community bank in Evergreen Park, Illinois. Evergreen Bank offers various personal and business accounts and loans. Their headquarters is in Oak Brook, Illinois. Also tied at number four is the Valley Direct High Yield Savings Account at 5.25% APY. There is a minimal $1 initial deposit required to open this account, and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. Calculation example for this one, similar to the last, if you have $10,000 in this account at 5.25% APY, after one month, total interest earned would be around $42.73. And if the APY stayed the same for a year at 5.25%, total interest earned on $10,000 would be around $525. Valley National Bank Corp, doing business as Valley Bank, is a regional bank holding company headquartered in Wayne, New Jersey. Valley Bank was founded in 1927 as a Passaic Park Trust Company. The company has grown through numerous acquisitions in northern and central New Jersey and has become one of the largest commercial banks headquartered in New Jersey. Valley Direct offers savings and CD accounts. Also tied at number four is the UFB Direct Secure Savings Account at 5.25% APY. There is no initial minimum deposit required to open this account and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. Now, UFB Direct recently changed the name of their savings account before it was High Yield Savings Account, and they've done this before a few times. I actually done a more in-depth video on UFB Direct and their High Yield Savings Account, and in one section of that video, I'll talk about the name changes that they do with these accounts, so just something to be on the lookout for. If you've seen this account before in my previous videos and you're like, hey, now it's called something different, what happened, what changed? 
pretty much the main thing that changed is the name and actually the yield for this account stayed the same. I've seen in the past where they do this when they raise the APY, they change the name sometimes too as well for some reason. However, the APY hasn't changed for this account recently, but the name has changed. So just wanted to notate that there. Calculation example for this one is similar to the last. If you had $10,000 in this account at 5.25% APY, after one month, total interest earned will be around $42.73. If the APY stayed the same for a year at 5.25% for $10,000, total interest earned will be around $525. UFB Direct is a digital bank founded in 2000 that's a division of Axos Bank. UFB Direct offers deposit accounts and mortgages. Axos Bank was previously known as Bank of Internet USA until it rebranded as Axos in 2018. Axos Bank headquarters is in San Diego, California. Also tied at number four is the popular direct online savings account at 5.25% APY. There is a minimum $100 initial deposit required to open this account and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. Now, this account actually recently lowered their APY. They were number one on my list back in November 2023 at like 5.40% APY, I believe. However, they recently lowered it. So now they're tied at number four. Like I stated at the beginning of the video, some of these accounts kind of stayed sideways and kept their APYs the same. There was a raise at one of them, a lowering of another one. So with some of these accounts had ties, so I had to kind of add other accounts for the 10 and 9 position. So definitely some change-ups in this list, and this is one of them for sure that happened. Calculation example for this one similar to the last if you had ten thousand dollars in this account at 5.25 percent apy total interest earned after one month would be around 42 dollars and 73 cents popular direct was launched in 2016 as an online only bank that's a subsidiary of popular bank popular incorporated was founded in 1893 and does business as banco popular in puerto rico and virgin islands and popular bank in the united states popular direct offers an online savings account and various term cds Popular headquarters is in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And at number three is the TAP Bank online savings account at 5.27% APY. There is no minimum initial deposit required to open this account, and the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. Calculation example for this one, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.27% APY, after one month, total interest earned would be around $42.89. If the APY stayed the same for a year at 5.27%, Total interest earned on $10,000 would be around $527. TAP Bank was founded in 1998 with the goal to offer banking services that focus on the trucking industry as a banking service located inside of truck stops. It still handles the specific banking needs of truck drivers and fleet operators, but the bank's products have expanded to also serve individual customers. TAP, T-A-B, stands for Transportation Alliance Bank, and they're headquartered in Ogden, Utah. And at number two, we have another tie. First up here, we have the VO Bank Cornerstone Money Market Savings Account at 5.30% APY. There is a minimum $100 initial deposit required to open this account. And something to notate here, if you wanted paper statements with this account, there is a $5 monthly fee. However, if you don't want paper statements, there is no monthly fee associated with this account. And for this account, the interest is compounded daily and credited monthly. And this is an account that actually raised their APY since my last video in November 2023. They raised it from 5.28% to 5.30%. So a slight raise, but a raise nonetheless. Calculation example for this one, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.30% APY, total interest earned after one month would be around $43.13. If the APY stayed the same at 5.30% for a year, total interest earned on $10,000 would be around $530. VO Bank offers money market savings and CD accounts, and they are the online bank division of MidFirst Bank, which is one of the largest privately held banks in the United States. MidFirst Bank was established in 1911 and is headquartered in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Also tied at number two is the IV Bank High Yield Savings Account at 5.30% APY. There is a minimum $2,500 initial deposit required to open this account, and the balance has to be at least $2,500 to earn this APY. So if your balance is not at least that $2,500, you would not be earning that 5.30%. So this one kind of has like a minimum balance requirement. There's no monthly maintenance fees associated with it. However, to obtain that 5.30% APY, you would have to have a balance of at least $2,500 or more. And they also have a maximum balance amount of $1 million. Interest on this account is compounded daily and credited monthly. Calculation example for this one similar to the last. If you had $10,000 in this account at 5.30% APY, after one month, total interest earned will be around $43.13.
And if the APY stayed the same for a year at 5.30%, total interest earned on $10,000 would be around $530. Ivy Bank is a digital banking division of Cambridge Savings Bank, which is a Massachusetts state chartered bank that has been helping customers since 1834. Ivy Bank was established in 2021 with a headquarters in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and they offer savings and CD accounts. And at number one, we have another tie. First up here, we have the My Banking Direct High Yield Savings Account at 5.35% APY. There's a minimum $500 initial deposit required to open this account, and your balance has to be at least $1 to earn the APY of 5.35%. Interest on this account is compounded and credited monthly. Calculation example for this account, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.35% APY, total interest earned after one month would be around $43.53. And if the APY stayed the same somehow for a year at 5.35%, total interest earned on $10,000 would be around $535. My Banking Direct is a service of Flagstar Bank. New York Community Bank Corp. is the parent company of Flagstar Bank, which is one of the largest regional banks in the country. The company is headquartered in Hicksville, New York, with the regional headquarters in Troy, Michigan. New York Community Bank Corp. was founded in 1859 as the Queens County Savings Bank, and was the first savings bank chartered by the state of New York in the New York City borough of Queens. My Banking Direct offers checking, savings, and CD accounts. Also tied at number one is the Brio Direct High Yield Savings Account at 5.35% APY. There is a minimum $5,000 initial deposit required to open this account, and you have to have a balance of at least $25 to earn that APY of 5.35%. Interest on this account is compounded daily and credited each statement cycle. Calculation example for this one, similar to the last, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.35% APY, after one month, total interest earned would be around $43.53. Brio Direct is an online subsidiary of Webster Bank that offers various deposit accounts. Webster Bank was founded in 1935 by Harold Webster Smith as the first federal savings of Waterbury in Connecticut. Their headquarters is in Stamford, Connecticut. And also we have a bonus number one, which was the bonus number one in my video in November 2023 for the top 10 savings accounts ranked by APY as well. So at number one, the bonus account is the Betterment Cash Reserve account. The current APY at the Betterment Cash Reserve account is 4.75%. However, they still have that 0.75% APY boost going on for new customers. So if you're a new customer with Betterment, and you meet the eligibility requirements and everything, you would get that 0.75% APY boost, and that on top of the 4.75% APY would give you an APY of 5.50%, which would make it number one on the list as the highest APY available. However, the APY boost will last for three months, so you would have that high yield for that three months, and then it would drop down to whatever that current APY is for Betterment. And so that Betterment 4.75% APY is variable. It can change within that three months and it can go down, it can go up. No matter how it moves, you'll still have that 0.75% boost going on for three months. And then after that three months, it would just revert to whatever the current APY is for the Betterment Cash Reserve account. And for this account, the interest accrues daily compounds monthly and is credited monthly. And if you want to know more about the Betterment Cash Reserve account, I have a really in-depth video available on my channel that I did for this account last year. So definitely check that out if you're interested to know more about the Betterment Cash Reserve account, which is a high yield savings account. However, Betterment is a financial technology company and not a bank, but they do have FDIC insurance available through their partner banks up to $2 million. So this is one of those accounts that has a higher FDIC insurance because they partner with other banks to be able to give that to their customers. So if you want to know more about Betterment, definitely check out that video. I'll link it down in the description. So yeah, they did make the number one on the list with the APY boost. Without the APY boost, they would be tied at number 10. But with the APY boost, they are at number one. So kind of a bonus. I wanted to add this one in because it would be higher than number one. However, there is a stipulation for that. And calculation example for this one, if you had $10,000 in this account at 5.50% APY, after a full month, total interest earned would be around $44.60. 72 cents. And if you had $10,000 in this account at the current APY without the boost at 4.75% APY, after a full month, total interest earned would be around $38.75. Betterment is an American financial advisory company which provides digital investment and cash management services. Betterment was founded in 2008 in New York City by John Stein, a Columbia Business School MBA graduate, and Eli Broverman, a lawyer out of NYU School of Law. Betterment headquarters is in New York City, New York.
And that is it with the video on the top 10 savings accounts ranked by APY for January 2024. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Happy New Year. Take care.